As marketers, whenever we find the next shiny toy to track the effectiveness of our campaigns, we get the next instruction. Just install this code on your website. So that's easy, right? For a developer. But what about the rest of us? That's where Google Tag Manager comes in. And in this video, I'm going to take you through how it works. So stay tuned for that. Google Tag Manager is a system designed to easily update and maintain tags that are used to track different things on your website. Once you safely and easily add your code to the tag management system, you can easily get access to the analytics that come from that code. The first thing you have to do is set up a Tag Manager account. Just go into Google Tag Manager, logged in as your standard account to get to any of the Google systems, including Analytics and AdWords, and create your account. Then set up the account for your website and create a workspace. It's within this workspace that we're going to deploy different tags. In the example on the screen, you can see that we have three different tags. When I click on tags, you'll see that the first tag is our call tracking metrics tag. And I did a video on that, so if you want to learn more about call tracking and how it fits in with your website, watch this video. I also have a tag in there for my Facebook pixel and for the Google Analytics code. If we were running Google AdWords, I'd have a tag in there as well. And any other system that wants to embed code and measure the results of triggers on your site can use and benefit from Google Tag Manager. Depending on the type of website you use determines how you install Google Tag Manager. The most common one, however, is WordPress. And that's a simple plugin. We installed the Google Tag Manager plugin for WordPress. And the first thing we have to do is we have to set up our account. On the main screen, we enter the Google Tag Manager account that shows up in our account. And then since we want it to work as it's intended, we choose the codeless injection method, which is the default for this plugin. Now there are some standard interfaces or integrations that come with this plugin. We can tie into Contact Form 7, Google Commerce, Google Optimize, and AMP pages. If you're using any of those, you can get those tied together here. But in our case, we just want to get this set up, the very basic setup. If you want to learn more about this plugin, there are plenty of other videos out there. We'll link to one in the show notes. Once you have Tag Manager installed on your website, you don't need the developer's efforts anymore to add new tags for tracking. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take you through how to add a tag. We're going to go through the process of adding a Facebook ads tracking tag. This is essentially installing the pixel provided by Facebook on our website. But instead of taking that pixel code and manually putting it in the code base, all we did was install Google Tag Manager and we're adding the code into the tag. So we'll select the website's container and click Add New Tag. Then we'll click Custom HTML Tag and enter a name for the tag. Now in Facebook, you're going to generate the pixel. You're going to do that through the Events Manager and then you'll select the option to install the code manually in the Events Manager. Then you'll select to copy the code to get that pixel code from Facebook. And in Google Tag Manager, we're going to paste that code in there. We're pasting the code in the HTML container. Now we'll go to Advanced Settings and we're going to choose Once Per Page. This is our tag firing options. Under Triggers, that is the triggering event that fires off this code, going to select all pages and then we click save. Once we have this in there, we need to publish it. Google Tag Manager allows us to add different tags and manipulate tags without impacting the site. That way we can get everything where we need it to be and when we're ready, we can publish it. Now that our Facebook code is published and everything is in place, our site is now tracking on behalf of Facebook using that code. And this is the great thing about Google Tag Manager. We can add tracking code and remove tracking code easily and independently of the website development team. We can also turn the things on and off. We can enable tags and disable tags at any, any given time if the effort we're doing calls for it. I hope this is helpful. 
Google Tag Manager is a very simple yet very powerful tool used to track different events and different tags and triggers on your website. I suggest you use it initially for Google Analytics, then add additional tracking code, whether that's call tracking or Facebook or Google Ads, and then go out and look at all the different options you have for tags. For example, on Google's page, you'll see all these different tags that are supported. And these are tags that are native to the applications and tracking systems that use code for tracking. So after you go through your tests, try some of these out as well. If I overlooked something, something you feel is really important, please put a comment in there. I'd really like to hear from you. If you'd like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell. And if you wanna hear something else that's technical in nature on marketing, let me know that in the comments as well. And we'll work on creating a video for you. Appreciate your time and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.